but I would like to ask you um, that you look into charts and you you trade into Bank Nifty. So, what are the ki kind of time frames you look into? What are the kind of indicators that you have high respect for? So, let's say if what will DJ look into a chart which will give him a confirmation? It's a trade here. So, what do you look into? Okay, see the thing is. Um it's a kiss principle for me. Keep it simple. I can't handle complexity of many kinds. We need to understand our strengths is what I feel. That's important. But what's even more important is we need to understand our weaknesses also. So I can't handle complexity. I know that. So I try to keep a system. I've tried out a lot of systems. Those are systems that are rated very highly but probably didn't work for me because it didn't fit my psyche. Like I was talking about in the earlier in, uh, instance example. So, uh, I have just two indicators, I use ADX, RSI or Stochastics and I go I go to bed with it. it. See, the thing is, you know, what works for you, you need to go with what works for you. Correct. And it might work, it might not work, but you need to keep tweeting, tweaking about it. And I, but I am blessed to um, come in contact with a large number of very successful and humble traders. Mm -hmm. I see that that goes hand in hand. Yeah. Very rarely you find a successful arrogant trader. Yeah. And I have been fortunate enough to be able to invite all of them to come to speak at our conference and more fortunate to have them agree and come and share their ideas. Right. One example I can give you is that Bangkok last year, James Dalton had given a talk on, a, on the day and the next morning at 6 a.m. at breakfast at the buffet. He comes to me and says, DJ, I want, yesterday I have seen something on the SNP, mm -hmm. which uh, I was talking about with the audience yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I want another 15 minutes slot. Can you please give me? Wow. Oh, I was astounded by that kind of humility. He is 75 years old. He is a veteran of the market for over 30 years. And he is asking me for, uh, for another, another 15 minutes slot. So it's, it's just not shocking, but it was very, very, what's the word you say? Very humbling, very, uh, very, very nice. Okay. So successful traders most of them are approachable reachable and yes. that's one reason why i've been able to reach out to a lot of people like that and request them to come to our conference and speak in fact i approached uh, steen barger uh, brett steen barger uh, who's a trading psychologist to um, talk at our event and he, 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 he he's agreed yes yeah. right so <coughs> it's nice so basically it all depends on our mindset yes so bank nifty psyche Hyper simple indicators work for you. Simple indicators work for me. Keep it simple, stupid. The simpler, yeah. the better. Yeah. I also use mean reversion in a big way. In uh -huh. fact, I've been influenced by one of our speakers. Is um, goes by the handle of spec speculator. Okay. On social media channels. Uh, okay, he's not on social media much, but he was on a um, blog. I found him on a blog and very interesting. And I requested him to come and speak. So he's done that. He follows the main river, main reversion strategy. He is one of those five people I mentioned initially when we met at the Boring Institute in Bangalore right. about uh, 2012, prior to 2012. And he's lived in the US and he's worked in extremely high tech industry, semiconductors, and now he's in the markets full time. So he's also reachable and uh, all these people. That's one thing common among some successful traders. Right. I feel. Yes, I completely agree. In fact, uh, you know, uh, keeping uh -huh. it simple has worked for me also um, so the kiss which is keep it uh, simple stupid um, you know and figure out what works for you what what works for, for you might be a little complex for others but uh, yes I think that's that that's one thing and if you're not uh, humble and you continue to trade in the market trust me uh, the market will make you sit on your knees and <laughs> make you humble Absolutely. for sure Absolutely. the the earlier you accept this and don't try to fight the tape that is don't don't try, try to fight the price I think you will be at peace with the market and with yourself more so. Um, I'm, I'm sure in two, 2017 TTC we will get to know and understand more about the psyche of price and the market from our esteemed speakers for sure.